Welcome to the first video for Zombie Sewing Machines. Today we're going to introduce you to Meg. Meg is a, we think, 1914 white family rotary treadle machine. Um, and she comes in this lovely cabinet. Uh, she was purchased in the San Francisco Bay Area in mid, end of March of 2020 uh, for $90. Um, all told. So now I'm going to show you how to open her. And this is kind of cool and this is unique about the white machines. She has a little cable that lifts her up as you pull open the cabinet. Now I always give her a little support because this is a heavy machine and of course you don't want to snap the cable because that's going to be almost impossible to replace. So all in all, um, this machine was in very good condition when I got it. Um, I didn't have to do much to it except clean out the tension dials and um, clean off some dust. Uh, the previous owner had fiddled with it a little bit, I think, um, and cleaned it up. She still has a little polishing to, to happen to her. We haven't gotten to that point yet, but we will. Um, and when we do, we'll make a video about it. So the white rotary um, machines are not as well known as their Singer counterparts but they are no less of a quality machine. This is a really um, top of the line kind of investment for a family when it was manufactured. As best I could find in 1909, the cost of one of these machines in a cabinet would be about $65, which in today's money would be about $1,500. So you're talking about a real investment by a family in the, in the sewing machine and in what the sewing machine could do for the household. Um, the whites are really cool, but they have a couple of quirks, like I said before. Um, the first one is, of course, the infamous hand wheel. So on a white, on a Singer machine, the hand wheel turns towards you. Now, I don't want to do this too much because on a white, it doesn't. <laughs> on a white, the hand wheel turns away from you. So um, I'm just going to show you the basics of what's going on here with the machine, um, what everything is. Uh, first of all, obviously, you have your sewing surface. Um, this has the extendable table, so that's real handy if you have a lot of fabric that you're trying to support. Um, this cabinet also came with a little ruler along the edge, which I think is super handy, and I wish modern machines would have embraced that concept. Um, here you can see the uh, on the slide plate, it has the patent dates for the different patents held by the White family or the White uh, sewing machine company. Um, down here you can see the actual treadle and that has White SMCO written in, in cast iron. Um, okay, back to the machine. So here obviously your hand wheel. Here's your treadle belt and we'll do a video to talk about um, how to put your treadle belt on, how to size it, how to make it fit properly. Uh, so here's the bobbin winder, which is really fun, and we'll show you how to do that later. This is the uh, stitch length lever. It's got markings there to tell you how wide, how long your stitches are going to be. Uh, here is the tension lever or tension control. Um, this has a really kind of neat um, lifting mechanism for the presser foot. It kind of is a rotating thing rather than a straight up and down lever kind of thing. Um, we'll see if we can get a good picture of that to post also. Um, it has a serial number, <laughs> which is almost impossible to identify as date of manufacture, which is why I said we're going with 1914 because that's the last date on the patent list on the slide plate. So the other thing that's cool about um, the White's uh, machines is that they have a special kind of bobbin that is now super common in a lot of machines. And it's a vertical bobbin, which is hard to see. Maybe down in there. We'll get some better photos of that to put on the site. But that's that'll give you the impression of it anyway. Um, and it's a straight stitch only machine because there weren't any zigzag machines at the time. Um, but it makes a beautiful stitch uh, and it's a lot of fun to use. In fact, my 
11 year old daughter prefers this sewing machine above all others when she does her sewing projects. Um, it also came with uh, the drawers. Some pretty cool accessories, this entire box here. And this seems like it would have been pretty standard to come with the uh, machine because all of the instruction manuals actually include instructions on how to use these different feet. And um, I haven't mastered really any of these feet, so I don't want to try to tell you what they are. I do know that this is a ruffler. It looks super complicated, but it actually isn't super complicated. So that's just kind of a brief introduction to the White Family Rotary Machine, um, and we'll go into more details in the next video.